right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Music Village. Now, originally that video game story was supposed to be a lot shorter than that, but seeing the fact that I know a couple of you wanted a little bit more backstory of why in the world I hate Boomtown so much, I decided to add in a little bit of 3D in with that 2D experience that put Boomtown into the dirt three times since we played that game. And he earned all three, too. I don't care what anybody said. But besides my hate for Boomtown that translates into every single M Dicky game I most likely will play in my lifetime, I think it's time for us to go into one of my favorite parts of the show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the indie. For the weekend, which is me giving you guys local content information. From local artists, Oh, for a local area live near you. And we kick things off with Friday, July 10th. And the first band that we have up is completely unchained. Who's going to be performing at the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Armor for Sleep. And the Cold Seas, along with Never Love, is all going to be performing at the Starland Ballroom in Sayreville, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Taylor James, Jackson Brown, and James Taylor. It's all going to be performing at the BB&T Pavilion in Camden, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Hollywood Nights. It's going to be performing at the Tropicana Showroom in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 9 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Friday night, you can see Crossfire SRV, who's going to be performing at the Finnegan's Pub in Popoke, New Jersey at 10 p.m. And on Saturday, July 11th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live. Lori Citro is going to be performing at the Crossroads in Garwood, New Jersey at 3 p.m. Me First. No Maestro, not Me First, that's the name of the band, who's going to be performing at the Stone Pony Summer Stage in Asbury Park, New Jersey at 4 p.m. Jaded Pass and Kicks. It's both going to be performing at the Starland Ballroom in Sayreville, New Jersey. At 6 p.m. Jennifer Nettles. Are Nettles? No, we'll go with the second one. Who's going to be performing at the Sukkakwena Bank Center in Camden, New Jersey. At 7 p.m. You can also see Sinatra, who's going to be performing at the Levoy Theater in Millville, New Jersey, at 7 p.m. Rockstar Race Car, The Bathwater, and Death Thrash. Nice band names. It's all going to be performing at the Stanhope House in Stanhope, New Jersey, at 7 p.m. 98 Degrees is going to be performing at the Caesars Atlantic City in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 8 p.m. Man, I haven't heard from those guys in a long time. Hopefully they're all doing all right. Anyway, next band we have up is Three Dog Night, who's going to be performing at the Newton Theater in Newton, New Jersey at 8 p.m. Dave Rowe is going to be performing at the Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club in Fairlawn, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Saturday night, you can see the Zol Azul Band who's going to be performing at the Jammin's Food and Drink in Red Bank, New Jersey at 10 p.m. And on Sunday, July 12th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live. The Mark Stinger Band. Nice band name. It's going to be performing at the Time Out Sports Bar and Grill in Barrington, New Jersey at 
6 p.m. Eddie Missanaro and Chris Palmieri is both going to be performing at the Nikki's Bar and Grill in Little Ferry, New Jersey. At 3 p.m., Cheesy and the Crackers is going to be performing at the Hotel Icona in Wildwood, New Jersey. At 4 p.m., and apparently, according to the maestro, is the Hotel Icona. Never heard of it. Anyway, the next band we have up is Fastlane, who's going to be performing at the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At 4 p.m., Lou Davelman and f -Rat. It's both going to be performing at the Long Valley Pub and Brewery and Restaurant Village in Long Valley, New Jersey. At 4 p.m., Random Test Reggae Band is going to be performing at the Channel Club Marina in Mammoth Beats, New Jersey. At 4 p.m., you can also see Janet Jackson, who's going to be performing at the Prudential Center in North New Jersey. At 4 p.m., man, 98 Degrees, Janet Jackson, Three Dog Night, I think this is starting to turn into a 90s show with indie bands in between. I like it. Anyway, next band we have up is Kenny Carrico, who's going to be performing at the Council Old Fish in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At 5 p.m., Russell Norkovic is going to be performing at the Town Pass Restaurant Americana in Lambertville, New Jersey. At 6 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Sunday night, you can see Pam McCoy and the Familiar Faces, who's both going to be performing at the Beach Walk Hotel Tiki Bar in Rumson, New Jersey at 6 p.m. And apparently according to the maestro, but wait, there's more! Because you can also see the Mark Stinger Band, who's going to be performing at the Mark Stinger Band live performance in Barrington, New Jersey at 6 p.m. And of course, once again, the Fast Lane, who's going to be performing at the Golden Nugget The Deck Stars Presents in Atlantic City at 8 p.m. Ah, nice. Two bonus bands to wrap up your Sunday night. Nice. And with those bonus bands out of the way, folks, for Monday, July 13th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area live near you. Valley Roses, Laid the Rose, and Valerie Vuloo is all going to be performing at the Exit Zero Filling Station in Cape May, New Jersey at 5 p.m. Cheesy and the Crackers is going to be performing at the Deck at Golden Nugget Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Killer Queen, nice band name, is going to be performing at the Ocean City Music Pier in Ocean City, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., now, here's hoping they perform the song Killer Queen that Queen did, and then also the entrance of a wrestler that went by the name of Madison Rain with their song Killer Queen, that I think was spelled with an A-H at the end of it. Yeah, according to the mic show, sure it was. Nice! Anyway, next band we have up is the Park Wet Chords, who's going to be performing at the White Eagle Hall in Jersey City, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Kenny Corkeo is going to be performing at the Boathouse in Wildwood, New Jersey at 7 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Monday night and for all the bands we're going to mention for this week, you can see the Park Wet Gords, who's going to be performing at the White Eagle Hall in Jersey City, New Jersey at 9 p.m. And just before you ask, Maestro, yes, it's a repeat performance two hours after their previous performance, which is always a good thing around here. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out any of the other bands that we couldn't mention during this very broadcast, and trust me, folks, there were a lot of them, 
you can head on over to ReverbNation.com to check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast. And like I said at the end of all of these kids, go out there, support your local artists, and see these guys perform live! And trust me, they'll love you for it. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back into this music and continue to listen into these diamonds in the rough. Only here, right here, on Music Village. So don't get angry in midtown traffic just yet, folks. And stay tuned. 